Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IES. So first question I want to ask you is whether you are underlining whatever you are reading like this. So I want to know how many of you are underlining in this manner, like each and every sentence. So I will be also showing you some other examples that I did exactly when I was preparing for UPSC. So I used to underline each and every line. So I will be also showing you one more book. So here, interestingly, I used sketch pens also to underline. So even I used this type of sketch pens. I hope you can see. So I used different kinds and also I used especially sometimes pens, sometimes pencils and also different colored sketches, sketch pens. And even I used highlighters. So how many of you are using the same pattern? So please let me know in the comment box. So I want to say one thing. So this type of underlining each and every word or each and every sentence in your book will not help you anyway. So when you're underlining, so you're underlining each and every line here. So this is the habit that many of you aspirants they have. Yes, even when I was preparing for UPSC, I used to underline and these are my personal books. So whenever you're underlining each and every line, so you'll be underlining too much. So this is the first one and everything will be underlined and it will not serve any purpose because so when you underline everything, so if you want to go for revision, you can't identify which word is important. So one tip from my side is, so whenever you're underlining, so you should not underline more than 10 percentage of that so and so chapter. So try to limit yourself that you have to underline just keywords. So whenever you're underlining this, this will be very helpful. So and I want to share you one more tip and I want to show you that from my book itself. So here instead of underlining, so please try to use the corners. Okay, so please try to use the corners here. You can use the uh, place which is given, right? So here I hope you can see. So in the corners, you can write the important points that you find in that chapter. Or if you want to make any diagrams, you can make this kind of diagrams in your book in that so and so chapter itself. So try to use corners, especially you can use corners and you can make the important points. So this is the second tip. So if you don't want to write in your standard book, so you can take a separate white notebook. So in that separate white notebook, you can make the key points. So you can write the key points and even if you are reading geography, for example, or ethics, for example, yes, you can write the definitions. So this is second important tip. And third one here is if you want to learn, if you want to understand or remember or recall the things that you are preparing, first important step that you can do is, so for example, if I am reading the peasant movements, okay, for example, if I am reading the peasant movements, so in that peasant movements, before reading the chapter in this book, I will be using a website or any Google. So I will be typing out peasant movements and i will be searching about some important peasant movements that happened and the characteristics of this peasant movements and i will be googling uh, some images and i will be seeing some images and after that i can also make a map like so which are the pe peasant movements that happened in which parts of india and apart from that i can also make a note of important leaders who led that peasant movements and what are the characteristics of so and so peasant movement so what might be the reason for that so and so peasant movement so before reading the chapter from this book if i do this type of research that will be very helpful for me because it will be helpful to create a bird eye view so i will be having a view of whole chapter before reading that because why this is important so if you see the chapters in this standard books so chapters are very different and very difficult to understand as well so while you are reading you will be also get bored if you are reading especially such type of standard books so to avoid that boredom so if you know that view before you are starting that chapter then you will be also enthusiastic and you will be not getting sleepy and you will be completing that chapter so this is second one 
and last one is after completing this chapter reading in your book so you have to recall the things so how can you recall so you can close the book and after closing book you have to think in your mind like so what are those present moment some important present moment so leaders who led that present moment so what is significance of the present moment and you can talk about even different characteristics of different present moments so why so and so person led that moment okay so which are the areas where the present moments was happened so like that you have to remember so this is the one example i am talking from this modern history so if i am reading art and culture for example i am reading classical dances so in that classical dances first i will search about different classical dances and i will be searching the images so why i will search images because it will be helpful for long term memory so especially from art and culture you have to imagine because we can't go to each and every part of india in this time period and we are going to watch them or for example watch those dances or watch those theaters right yes we have sources like internet and we can use internet and we can google it and we can watch whatever we want so in this way that will help you for pictographic memory so i will be searching for the images sometimes i will be watching a short videos of that so and so dance forms and i will be making a map of different classical dances in india and you can also make a note of certain characteristics of uh, for example bharatanatyam for example kuchipudi odissi etc So in this way I will be completing the topic for example if you move on to polity for example let us think I am studying about supreme court I will be googling a like image of, of supreme court where it is located and who are the current supreme court judges who is the present cji and even history of supreme court of india and I can also write some main keywords in the separate book So later on I will be getting into the chapter in Lakshmikanth and I will be reading all those things so after finishing that chapter reading in Lakshmikanth I will close the book or whenever I am getting free time or whenever I having my coffee or tea or whenever I am doing some other works so I will be three calling whatever the things I studied in that day For example whenever I am doing exercise for example I will go for walk for 10 to 15 uh, minutes every day so at that time I will be recalling the things like so what I read in that so and so day so what are the things I have to do so what is the to do list of that day so in that time I will be efficiently using that time to recall the things for example if I read the supreme court so I will be thinking about what I studied for example what are the qualifications of of the advocate or for example what are the qualifications of the judges what are the qualifications of the cji so what are the controversies what are those judge cases first judge case second judge case like that what are the recent developments so i will be thinking in that way so in this way you can easily recall the things so in this video i want to say how to learn how to remember and how to recall the things and i shared my personal examples with my personal notes so i hope this video will be helpful for the beginners and especially although you have already prepared for this upsc and you are in this upsc preparation journey or even if you are preparing for other state public service examination not only this examinations but even for your ssc that is uh, your 10th class or intermediate or graduation so this methodology will helpful and it will helpful to fetch good marks in your examination especially who are preparing for this competitive examinations so this technique will works so trust me and follow this and try to do this for next one week or 15 days and let me know your response and that will helpful for your long term memory also so for more videos subscribe to rathor sai academy and like and share this video for your friends Thank you so much for giving this opportunity and have a nice day.